After a four-year journey, Barack denied students who were against the odds, beat the odds like a champ. For a while, I worked in the governor's office as a governor's advisor on education, and I had been to Springfield one day and uh, encountered some young folks there that uh, were really struggling. So on my ride back from Springfield to Bridgewater, I uh, thought about it and I thought, you know, we have to do something at Bridgewater to give young folks an opportunity and a chance. And when I arrived back the next morning, I had a cabinet meeting and I said to my cabinet, you know, we need to do something and uh, we need to do some work. We have Brockton seven miles away and so I want to develop a program. And that was the genesis for FAM for Change. That's how it came about. It's been a great four years for myself. I've learned a lot along the way. Um, you know, it's a dropout prevention program. We focus a lot on, on youth empowerment and to see students like from, from eighth grade yeah, up until this point, graduating from Brockton High School and then receiving that scholarship is a blessing. It's a beautiful thing for, for me to see. Um, so, yeah, I'm definitely happy about it. Oh, it definitely is because uh, I didn't go to college. And for my daughter to have this opportunity to get a free scholarship to the University of uh, Bridgewater University, it, it's an awesome situation. And I'm trying to get my younger daughter, Kyla, into the same program. So it's going to be good. This program has changed my life. Yeah, I, I was expected to be a dropout, the, obviously, since I'm in this program. But uh, here I am, you know. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be dropping out. <laughs> then I, I love it. every single person here. The, Every single person here is beautiful. You, every, every person that you ever meet is beautiful. It's, just, it's somewhere inside them. It's just up to them to bring it out. FAM has just been um, such a great experience and um, hiring Kenny was like the best thing we did and then getting the program together and you guys, all of you guys really brought it to this point where um, we have 12th graders that are graduating high school and going on to awesome colleges and universities and coming here to Bridgewater. And you guys better stop in my office and say hi, Georgiana, all the others. So just congratulations. I'm so proud and I'm so glad to be here. And I'm gonna cry. Okay. I grew up in Brockton, went to you know, North Junior High School, Brockton High School. I wasn't the greatest of, of a student, you know, but along the way you know I just persevered and just like overcome a lot of barriers and obstacles along my way so I show them that it's possible and um, like I said too they helped me grow each day too so you know I started working towards my master's degree because of them so you know I have to model the way too so if I don't model the way then you know how, how strong am I as a leader too. Kenny is um, an incredible person for this program who truly cares. His phone is forever blowing up. And I wonder, you know, I'm like, I would it would probably drive me nuts if someone kept texting me, calling me, emailing me, whatever. But he cares and he answers every single message that comes from whether it's a mentor or a mentee. Um, he goes above and beyond, and I kid you not, and I'm not gonna talk about certain things, but he goes above and beyond because he truly cares about the, the kids in this program. To be here tonight, and see so many people together and to see uh, so many of the young folks in the Fan for Change program with the mentors uh, having done so well is just incredible. I, uh, I think uh, what we should understand, all of us, and I'm speaking to the adults in the room, that there is not one child that I've ever met who can't learn and who can't do and who can't be. And I think we have to believe in them we have to provide the opportunity for them and support them and they will achieve.